Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. Guess what? Today I'm gonna ground drive Mr. Mushu, my gypsy banner, for the first time ever! I'm so excited! Okay, so here's why this is so exciting. Number one, it's something new. Like he's literally never ground driven before. So you're gonna get to see everything. I'm gonna do voiceover just because I really need to like focus and concentrate, but I still wanted you to see this and be a part of the process. But like I said, the most exciting part is we are gonna be riding very soon. And this is the next step, okay? The last step before riding. I cannot wait. My first ride on Mushu is gonna be really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. Mushu. Okay, so I'm going to groom him and then we are going to take him out to the outdoor arena and do our thing. What up, girl? Run, P Money! Come on! <laughs> New shoes, like, whatever, dude. Okay, so once we head out there, right now I don't have anyone to film. Kyle's gonna film when I'm actually ground driving but I'm going to put his sur single on, his bridle, and then use the driving reins. But I won't be able to film putting that on because I just want to focus, but you're still going to get to see the first steps we take ground driving, and I'll talk you through it. <laughs> you little goof. Right here, I'm using a sur single driving reins, and then this is the purple bridle that he's been working with in regards to getting used to the bit. So we just took our first couple steps. And as you can see, I have the driving rein draped over his back just to get him used to the lines. Some horses will really freak out if they feel the lines touch their butt or their sides. So I highly recommend doing a little bit of desensitizing there. And I'll talk about that. So as you can see, I just asked him to halt and he did. So I clucked, clucked and asked him to walk on, which means move forward. Now, because obviously I know how to ride, I'm very familiar with the rain cues and all of that. I've only driven once, like with the actual cart, which you saw in a different video with Buzz, but I'm very familiar with ground driving per se. Mushu is just now getting used to the bit and everything, so he's still playing around with it. We've done a ton of in-hand work to prep him and a lot of lunging and all of that, but he's having to get used to a different kind of pressure. So that's why you see him opening his mouth and gaping which obviously isn't what we want. But in the beginning, of course, a younger horse is gonna do that until they're familiar. And obviously I'm being as soft as I possibly can with my hands, giving him a lot of slack because I don't want him to feel trapped or anything like that. I wanna completely release the pressure when he goes the direction I'm asking him. It's all about like the pressure and release in regards to that and then incorporating positive reinforcement too. So there I asked him to halt and he was a little bit confused but he did really good and listened. It's just a balance. It's all about timing and feel when it comes to working with horses and giving them that release and rewarding them right away when they try or they give you the desired behavior we're seeking. So right there, I asked him to halt and he wanted to turn in, which makes sense because when we lunge and stop, he turns in, so of course, but all I had to do was just use a little bit of my outside rein, which is my right hand, and ask him to straighten out. He is being really, really good. Obviously, he's like, what are we doing? But he is trying so hard and he's doing phenomenal. He's not weird about the lines or anything. He is trying his very best. He's looking to me for direction, very willing. And those are all of the characteristics that we're looking for right now. We're not expecting perfection. We're wanting him to understand. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually ground drive him and move from behind. And this is where horses can sometimes really freak out because you're standing directly behind them and the lines are hitting their butt and their sides. But this is why ground driving is really important because it teaches the horse how to move forward without you being right by their side or leading them or lunging them per se. And it gets them used to the lines hitting their sides and ground driving essentially translates your ground aids up into the saddle. So it allows the horse to be less confused when you first ride them or when you eventually go to drive them for real. So what you saw in the beginning when I asked him to move forward cause I was behind him, he was like, uh, I don't really know what you want. So he backed up. And I just stayed really calm and I just kept clucking and asking him to move forward. And then he was like, oh, okay. And when he moved forward, I told him, good boy. Right there, I asked him to halt. When he halted, I told him, good boy. So right here, I'm just being really soft with my reins, but continuing to ask him to go forward because right now he wants to kind of walk all over the place because of course he doesn't know what we're doing. But at the same time, he's listening to every aid and cue I give him. He's responding and going in that direction. And that's what's really awesome. 
And he's doing it, horse lovers. He is ground driving for the first time ever and doing it well. It's really incredible what time, patience, and dedication do for the horse. Like we've been working hard basically since August, preparing for our first ride under saddle. Like I'm not the type of girl that just hops on and wishes for the best. Like I do a lot of prep work and not everything's always gonna be perfect or go exactly as planned, but I really try to set my horse and myself up for success by going about training in a slow manner, especially when I'm dealing with a young horse that's gonna take time to develop. Basically, all I'm doing here with the ground driving is repeating the commands and the cues for him. So essentially stopping, moving forward, turning left, turning right, keeping him straight. And I can tell he's really focusing and trying to tune into what I'm asking him to do. And I'm really happy he's not worried about the lines or anything. And what I did to prepare him for that is all I did was hook a one lunge line like to his halter. And I just brought it around his side and just gently swung it and just kind of put it behind his legs one side at a time. And that way, if crap was about to hit the fan, I could just drop the lunge line and it would be okay. Wouldn't be attached to his mouth or the surcingle or anything. So I did that a few times on both sides. Like that was a couple weeks ago and he didn't care at all. So I knew he would most likely be okay with the driving lines when I was standing behind him. And he did great. It's so funny because I could tell by the look on his little face that he's like, yeah, I don't really know what we're doing, but I kind of understand, but everything's okay at the same time. That was a really nice halt right there. That was excellent. And I released right away. And also I'm making it like different points in time when I ask him to move forward. For example, I'm not always gonna do halt and then walk right away. I'm gonna halt maybe for five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, and then ask him to move forward. So he doesn't just anticipate we haul out and then we go right away. You know what I'm saying? Just like with riding, I'm not gonna always do the same thing. I'm gonna be consistent, but change it up a little bit at the same time. It's so funny because he's trying to figure out like the rain pressure. Also, in regards to using a bit, so the reason I'm using it in this circumstance is number one, I trained my horses both bitless and with a bit. But when it comes to driving, I didn't want basically the nose band of the bitless side pole to be like rubbing and brushing against his face. I think it makes sense to drive him with the bit totally. And I was going to ride him bitless for the first ride, but I do think just my gut is just telling me to use a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. But then my goal is to mainly be doing bitless like once I feel like that's the best decision. So that's how I feel about bits and bitless. I think they both have their place and I use very gentle bits and I try to be as soft as I possibly can. And I think that they both have a purpose, both bits and bitless. And that's kind of my philosophy Good when it comes job. to that. Good. Back up. I am so incredibly proud of Mushu. He's absolutely amazing. Good job, Mushu. Good job. Now I'm going to take all of his tack off, the driving reins, the surcingle, the bridle, and just let him be at liberty. Not bad for his first time ground driving. That was pretty good.
He can be your other cart pony. He's big enough. He's thick, boy. Yeah, we're going to have to get a better cart, though. Well, he looks so small next to you. I feel like he looks normal next to me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mushy, you're going to be so cool. Look at my Moosh. Look at him. He did so good. Now we're going to ride soon. You ready, big boy? Thick boy. Short but thick. Yeah, he looks minuscule next to you. I don't know. Kyle, your Crocs. That's not safe around the horse. <laughs> you called me out to film. I so did. I, had to I know. I that is. And... Came out in the Crocs. Somebody get him some new Crocs. These camo ones are getting worn. You need back straps on these. These are Walmart specials. <laughs> <laughs> Moosh. Here, hold my equipment. You gotta learn. That was the sweetest thing I've ever seen him do. My heart just exploded how he came running to me. He thought we were done and then he saw that I was calling him. He's like, oh my gosh, I have to run to my mom. So cute. I'm running to grab him some little alfalfa flowers because I didn't have any treats on me and he's such a good boy. A million treats for you because you're the best cab in the whole world. I love you so much. You are a star. I love you so much. I'm gonna groom you up here. Oh, dusty boy. So glad I got him clipped. He looks so much better feels so much better and now that his hair is growing back a little bit he looks fabulous oh, if you weren't a gelding I think you're pregnant I'm kidding he's like what you insulted me good boy Man, this guy is a little tank, I'm telling you. He's like 14 hands high, definitely over a thousand for sure. Okay, let's go say hi to Miss Belle really quick. Hey, Mama, how you doing? Hi, pretty girl. So I'm going to put Bagheera in with her. Right now, Bagheera will go in with her during the day, but she's getting feisty. Not with Bagheera, but like the gelding, she basically hates them all, so for her benefit, like I said, you know, we just don't know exactly when she's going to fold. So better safe than sorry. Put Bagheera in with you. You finished eating breakfast. So that's fantastic. And we'll be doing another update video on her sometime this weekend. But yeah, we still got a little time, okay? Like in the last video, I said it still could be anywhere from two to four weeks. But we're getting closer since she was bagging up more. Yeah. But she's doing good. The baby's good getting bigger certain angles you can really tell yeah you sweet girl hi mama want some little snack good girl oh my gosh horse lovers that was freaking amazing mushu rocks make sure you like comment share subscribe to the channel <clears throat> turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything free spirit equestrian anything with mushu anything with bell or any of our updates okay we just are wild over here and you never know what's next okay but soon here is going to be our first ride i cannot mushu hold on i cannot wait it is going to be so much fun i hope that he's a good boy but you know whatever it is what it is and yeah are you excited I just love you. You're just the best boy. When he came running to me with Mountie Block, like my heart exploded. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like he really loves me. Feelings mutual, buddy. 
Yes. Okay. So stay tuned. It's going to be coming up. I have a few more surprises as well. See you next time, horse lovers. Bye. Goodbye, Mushi. Goodbye, you goofy boy. <laughs>